We've had a string of House Republican retirements in recent weeks. They include big names like Susan Brooks of Indiana. She's actually in charge of helping the Republicans recruit for new members. And most prominently, Will Hurd of Texas. He's the lone black House Republican. He has been willing to buck some of his party on President Trump. Taken as a whole, it suggests that there are minority lawmakers who don't see a future in this party under Trump. Hurd's retirement raised eyebrows in Washington for two reasons. Hurd made it pretty clear to the Washington Post that he's leaving because Trump is tweeting racist stuff. When you tell someone to go back to Africa or, or whatever country, um, that's in essence telling someone because you don't look like them um, that you are not American. Hurd said, you know, when Trump tells these minority lawmakers to go home, it's something he takes personally. My style is to talk about what unites us, not what divides us. Um, I I think that is something that's better uh, long run and also is, is more helpful uh, when it comes to trying to win elections. The second reason is Heard represents the kind of district that Republicans will want to hold on to in order to try to win back the House majority next year. I represent more of the southern border than any other member of Congress. It's 70 percent Hispanic. It's along the border where a lot of these immigration issues nationally are very salient. And it's a battleground district in what could be a battleground state, both in the battle for the House and maybe even the presidential race. With Hurd's retirement, the Republican Party is losing one of its critics against Trump. The tweets are, are racist and xenophobic, period, in the story, and they're also not accurate. Hurd recently voted with House Democrats to condemn Trump's go back tweets as racist. Hurd opposes Trump's border wall. He opposed Trump's travel ban. Hurd's vocal opposition to Trump in Congress could suggest he wants to remain in the national dialogue about Trump once he's out of Congress. It's even possible he's considering a presidential run in 2024. These Republicans are retiring for different reasons. It's an intensely personal decision. But it's notable these retirements are happening as Republicans spend their first time in nearly a decade in the minority in the House, which is no fun in a majority rule chamber. This is also happening as Trump gears up for re-election and Republicans are considering the possibility of another four years under a president who has completely hijacked their party. For the most part, if you're a Republican and having to defend Trump's tweets every day in the halls of Congress, that's exhausting, and it's been wearing on a lot of these lawmakers for the past nearly three years. As far as what this means for the battle for the House, no one retirement can change this. Uh, and a couple of these retirements are in districts that Republicans expect to keep, like in Alabama. But in Texas especially, there are a couple seats that are now open that Republicans had held that Democrats hope to take in 2020. This is one more data point for Democrats as they seek to keep their majority. Hi, I'm Elahe Azadi, pop culture writer at The Washington Post. Real journalism matters. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get our latest reporting and analysis.